Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make checkpoints. These checkpoints will automatically save, so every time you leave the Roblox game, it will save your current stage that you are at. So let's say you're at stage 6, when you leave the Roblox game, it will save, and when you rejoin, you'll be teleported back to the stage 6, so basically you don't lose, lose any progress. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, we would then want to head over to Explorer and insert a folder into Workspace. We then want to change the name of this folder to Checkpoints. Now that you've created the Checkpoints folder, now we need to go and make our checkpoints, which we are going to put into the folder. So these are going to be the parts where the player will respawn if they leave the Roblox game. So for example, this can be stage one. We're just gonna make some very basic stages here. So that can be stage one. This can be stage two. That can be stage three. That can be stage four. For this tutorial, I'll make four. Obviously, maybe you don't leave such a big gap because a Roblox player can't jump that far. But let's just do something like that. And then we wanna rename them in order. So let's say our spawn point is here. So the players will originally spawn on stage one. Obviously, you can adjust the spawn point so it's perfect. Done. Perfect. Feel free to adjust that if you want. But they'll spawn at this for the first stage. So we want to change the first one here to just one. Then we want to change the second one, second, third one, th uh, three, then fourth one, four. Just like that. So on here, the second one, we want to change this to two. Then this one to three, and then this one to four. Obviously, you can make this with as many stages or checkpoints as you want. Let's say you want 30 checkpoints. You just make 30 different parts, and you rename them up to 30, all in order. So now that we've made our checkpoints, we want to go and select them all, and then we want to go down to Explorer, or sorry, Properties, where it says Parent, and click on where it says Workspace, and insert them into the checkpoints. This will put them in order and also insert them into the folder. So now the parent of those checkpoints are checkpoints folder. Feel free to adjust them to whatever you want. If you want them to be a bit see-through or a bit transparent, you want to change the transparency over here in properties. There's so much you can do in properties. You can change the color, you can change the material, but it's completely up to you. You also want to make sure all the parts are anchored, all your stages or checkpoints are anchored. So you want to go and select them all and then you want to click anchor. So now that we have moved our checkpoints into the checkpoints folder, we then want to go over to Service Script Service in Explorer and click the plus button next to Service Script Service and insert a normal script. Once you have inserted the script into the Service Script Service, we then want to go and remove all the previous code. And then you want to go down to the description or comments of this video, copy and paste the code and bring it back to Roblox Studio. So Control V or right click paste and paste in Code. Now that we've inserted the code into the script, we then want to go up here and click the X button next to script. And then we want to go to file and publish to Roblox. Once you've published the game to Roblox, we then want to go test it out. So you want to load onto the Roblox game page and you want to click the play button. As you guys can see, I've just loaded into the Roblox game and here are our checkpoints. And as you guys can see in our leader stats, we are at checkpoint or stage one. And I've added this kind of indicator here. So when we rejoin into the game, we are able to tell if we are still at the stage or not. So we are currently on stage one because this is where we spawn. The moment we go over to this area, this next checkpoint or stage here, we will be at stage two, stage three, stage four, and obviously however long or how many checkpoints or stages you have. So now that we've got our, all our stages, we can go and leave the Roblox game. And then we wanna go and click play again and load back in because basically what we're going to be testing now is making sure that it saves so once you leave the roblox game all the data saves so when you join back into the roblox game next time you are at the same area or the same stage as you guys can see there's the indicator over there that was that we were next to at the beginning so there's stage one stage two stage three stage four and we are still at stage four if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. 
But anyway, have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.